How's it going, Leo? It's Robin here. Uh, welcome to Aries Fire Tarot. Uh, I have the Crystal Visions Tarot card deck in my hand, and I'm going to do you guys a quick look at 2022 to see what can happen for you. I'm going to look at the general energy available for Leo in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for 2022. So I hope you guys have a great year ahead. Uh, I think you guys deserve it as we all do. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the reading. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'm just going to crack on into your reading. I'm going to pull five cards for you. We're going to first of all look at the theme of the year. Okay, so <clears throat> I feel like this is the card to kick you guys off. Look at this, seven of wands. This is actually a really powerful card. Shows you guys rising above the competition. Um, you're on your dragon guide, which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of dragons. I have them everywhere in my home. You guys might wanna do some sort of um, a meditation or a transmission to find your dragon guide. I've talked about that before. Uh, it's really quite easy. Uh, Steve Nobel does this really interesting um, meditation on an introduction to your dragon guide. So you guys can really stand up above and, and finally start winning on your own terms. So this is going to be quite a formative year for you, Leo. I've seen massive potential in your readings for huge accomplishments and achievements, okay? So this is where you guys are gonna identify what sets you apart from the crowd, okay? I think I'm gonna write that down. Hold on, hold on. So the ability to really identify your strengths and core abilities, okay, and let them shine. So I'm going to pull a card for the first quarter of the year, January, February, and March, and see what will happen there for you guys. I just have a bit of a, a shuffle disaster here. So you have the three of pentacles. So you guys are going to discover the shining light in you, okay? And there is a support system behind you. It could be that dragon guide that I was talking about in the first card. It could be another guide representing themselves and making themselves known for you in 2022. As you move into the three of pentacles energy, really carving out your niche in life, okay? This is the ability to also reap massive financial rewards, okay, on your own terms, okay? So this is going to be a pretty important year for you guys to stop settling for things that maybe they work for other people, but not for my LMG, not for my Leo Millionaire gang, okay? So really becoming super powerful in 2022. So let's have a look here. April, May, and June. What's the energy for you here, Leo? Uh, let me just pull a card. So you have the sun card. I love pulling this card for Leo because this is who you are. Okay. The ability to grow, the ability to manifest, shining your light for the world to see, being this undeniable magnet, you know? Um, nothing can live without the sun, really, unless it's some sort of amoeba in the depths of the ocean, but that's not who you are. You are the energy of the sun. You are able to create your own wealth, okay? You are able to rise above the crowd and shine like the powerful zodiac sign you are. Where was I? <laughs> July, August, September. I'm just so caught up at caught up in your energy, Leo. You guys are going to finally see what makes you tick and sets you apart and how to magnetize the millions or billions or however much money that you have set your sights on. Everything is going to click for you in 2022. Okay? So you have the Knight of Cups offers coming in love offers, emotional offers, abundance offers, everything that is going to overflow your cup with joy, okay? Being handed to you on a silver platter, Knight of Cups here. It tells of untold riches, 
in, in any way that you want them to be, whatever you consider riches to be. So this could be very powerful, especially when we're coming into the quarter of the year. I have a hair stuck on my face. Gross. Hold on. Sorry. Especially around the month of your birth. Okay. So this is going to be like your ultimate year and it could all just start popping off around your birthday. It's going to be sort of the year-long celebration of Leo. October, November, December. Let's have a card for that, you guys. You have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is reaping what you've sown in the first three quarters of the year. It's just, it's hanging from, the, from everywhere. You can just go pick it. This card wants to say something else. Hold on for a second. Okay, so look at this. It's like you're going to notice a new sort of wellspring within yourself. Like you guys are going to uncork every opportunity and every manifestation block that you've ever had. Things are going to come pouring out of you effusively and the universe is going to respond accordingly. Okay, so this is going to be your year. So powerful, so strong. I'm just going to pull an archangel card for you guys to see which archangel will definitely be by your side as 2022 unfolds. Okay, so you can really call on this archangel to support you and guide you. Let me just pull that card here. And I love that you guys have Archangel Michael, mighty warrior angel. And you can see that reflected here in the seven of wands. Okay, so it's okay to fight battles on your own behalf. One of the most powerful archangels is the warrior angel, and he will be by your side, helping you manifest the life of your dreams with the wheel. And on this says, a time of positive change, okay? A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So you guys... You don't even have to make this your best year ever. It's just going to be your best year ever, okay? This is going to be year of Leo rising. You guys are going to be in control. You're going to be manifesting like the biggest bad, you know, in the world, okay? So you guys are just going to have the best year. I hope you do. Happy New Year, Leo. <laughs> Take care. Bye.